By the end of this video, you're gonna know how to edit your videos with AI like a pro in 2026. Because if you're still using tools like Adobe Premiere Pro, CapCut, or even worse, you're paying somebody to edit your videos or wasting your own time doing this, you're gonna get left behind in 2026. Because now you can simply take your video clips, upload them into AI, and boom, it can actually edit it for you. And by the end of this video, you're gonna know exactly how to do this and three other things you need to make sure that you're changing when you go to upload your content in order to maximize your reach. Now, the easiest way for you to be able to edit your content with AI is going to be using Gling AI because you could get started with this tool for free. In fact, it's as simple as this. You come over here, click on get started for free, and then you want to upload your content here. Now, luckily, I've already gone through and I have actually done this. So if we come over here, we can see that I have this right here, Rob to edit. And what we're going to do is we're going to grab all these files and we're going to upload these right here into Gling. And we could see right here that we could do two things. One, we could extract shorts from this if we already had our video edited which is a great feature that you can use with this, or you could edit with AI. For the sake of this, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna click on edit with AI, and then what you wanna make sure is you wanna make sure that these are all in the correct order. Now, right now, these are in the correct order, but if they weren't, you could literally just go through and you can move these around as simple as this. In addition to that, you wanna make sure that you choose the right language right here, and if you have the script for your content, I would go ahead and I would upload this right here. Otherwise, their AI will actually figure this out. From here, you're gonna click on continue, and you're gonna choose how you want your video enhanced and how you want it edited. So, I want bad takes, I want those cut out, so we have that checked. I want filler words removed, so we have that checked. I want silences cut, so we have that checked. I'm not gonna put like and subscribe in this. I am gonna add auto zoom. I am gonna add enhance audio, and I'm gonna put auto captions on. And then what we're gonna do is click on enhance and edit. Now this is going to go through, and this is actually going to edit our video for us in seconds, and then we'll be able to see exactly what this looks like and be able to customize things. Okay, so now that this has gone through and this has actually done this, we could see what all of this actually looks like right here. So we could see all the different cuts right here. And if you didn't want to get rid of them, you could just click on that right here, or you could see this right here and we could see everything that is actually cut out. And we could see that the volume goes to nothing here, which is pretty incredible that it actually goes through and does that. In addition to that, if we click on this right here, we could see everything that's actually been done. So there's a zoom that's happening right here. We can actually control the zoom if we wanted to, and we could add that, but we could see that A I actually added that in. In addition to that, we could see that it's actually gone through and it's removed the noise from the audio here. And then a few other things that I did want to show you here, which are pretty cool. If we come over here and we click on this, you are then going to see the captions here and we could choose the style. We could change the style. We could very easily change where this actually shows up. If we wanted to, we could see them right here and that they're added to each segment here. And we can also see pace right here. So we could see that this went through and this increased the pace so we could see it took out 41 different pauses. Now, if we wanted to change that, for example, we wanted the video to feel slower, we would just come over here and we would change it to look like this and then it would keep all the pauses or we could speed this up and what that does is actually get rid of more pauses. So this had it at 41 pauses removed. This right here, all the way up, sets it at 239 different pauses removed, which is pretty incredible because I didn't realize that's how many times I paused, but essentially what that's doing is going through and replacing breaths. In addition to that, we could come over here and we could see that this right here was cut out because it's redundant, which was the right thing to do because that is where I messed up. And we can continue to go through the script here and see all different times that that happened. And this AI removed it in just a few seconds. Now, a few other things that I did want to show you. If we click on enhance right here, we will be able to change things. For example, if we want to get rid of the auto captions, we could get rid of that just like that right here, or we could add it back in just like that. We could get rid of the auto zooms. We could change the magnitude of that. We could change where it starts, if it's smooth, if it centers to our face. We could see the enhanced audio right here, and then we see B-roll, which is very, very insane. So essentially what you're able to do is click on this, and now this goes through and actually spins up B-roll for each part of this video here. And there are two ways that you could do this. Actually, there are three ways that you could do this. One, you could go through and this will actually choose different stock footage based on whatever the script of your video is at that point. Or if you have your own B-roll, you could come over here and you could upload this in here, or you could actually use AI to enter a description of what you're trying to do, and it will actually go through and generate something for you. For example, I was uploading a video about a Ferrari, about 
the car that I was buying. And what I did was actually had this go through and create this right here so that I could add this in here, which is pretty incredible that it went through and AI generated that. So if you don't have stock footage or you don't have your own footage, just get AI to generate whatever you need. But as we could see right here, this has now gone through and fully edited this video, added in B-roll, got rid of pauses, added in captions, enhanced the audio, all of this literally in just a few minutes. And in the past, this would have taken me or my team hours to do. But now with Gling, we do it incredibly quickly, which actually allows me to one, put out more content, two, put out higher quality content, and now I can run multiple YouTube channels instead of just one. So now that you know how to use Gling AI in order to speed up the time in which you're editing, I wanted to show you three other things that you need to make sure that you're doing when you go to upload your content in order to increase your reach. In fact, these settings will two to three X your views without changing anything else. But before I show you that, I did wanna remind you that you could go to the pinned comment below and get started with Gling AI today. Because if you're not using AI in order to edit your content in 2026, you're gonna get left behind. Gling AI is an absolute no brainer because you could try it today for free. So check it out here. So change number one that you need to make when you go to upload your content are three settings that you need to make sure are turned on every time you upload. Here they are. Okay, so when it comes to those specific settings that you need to make sure that you have correct when you go to upload your content to YouTube, there are three that I really wanna pay attention to. The first one is going to be your metadata, and that is basically going to be four different things added together. The first thing is going to be the file name of your video and of your thumbnail. You wanna make sure that it has the keyword that your video is about. For example, this video right here is about going viral on YouTube Shorts, so I have Shorts inside of here and then I have the date that I released the video. We could also see that we have right here our title with Go Viral on YouTube Shorts, again, part of that keyword, and we see the same exact thing in the description here. In fact, you will see it two different times. We have get more views on YouTube, and then we also have go viral on YouTube short. So that's basically just two different ways to say the same thing. So we could see that we have that in our file name, we have it in our title, we have it in our description, and then that fourth place that you wanna make sure that you have it is gonna be in your tags right here. But again, this is just one setting out of three that you need to pay close attention to right here. The next setting that you wanna make sure is enabled is if we scroll down here, this category, you wanna make sure that this is accurate. So this video right here is educational, which is why I put education. Now, if we come up to the title right here, we could see that it says steal this strategy strategy to go viral on YouTube Shorts, so this is not a how-to video. But if it was a how-to video, what I would have wanted to do is under education, come under type and put how-to. Now, let's say that you're uploading a video about science, for example, about the moon, you would choose science and technology. If you were uploading a cover song, you would choose music. If you were posting about the news, you would choose news and politics. If you were posting something funny, you would put comedy. If you were posting about cars, you would put autos. You get the point. Whatever you're actually posting about, you wanna make sure that your category right here aligns with that. And then the the other thing that you need to make sure that you're doing is you need to make sure that you are coming into languages right here and making sure that all of these different languages that show up are actually benefiting you. And the way that you're going to check this is by coming into your analytics and seeing what geographies are actually watching your video for the longest period of time, because some of these languages might actually be destroying your reach. In fact, we could see that my video has been published in about 26 different languages, but I bet only one or two of them is driving the majority of views. So the rest of them is hurting them, which is why I come through and I turn a lot of these off. But that was just the first thing. The second thing that you need to make sure you're doing is using YouTube's new A-B test feature. Because if you're not using the A-B test feature for your titles, you could actually be getting less views than you deserve. Because what title you use is going to determine how many impressions you get right now on YouTube. So what you wanna make sure that you do is you wanna make sure that you're testing two different titles that have two different keywords in them in order for you to see which keyword actually increase your reach. And the great part about running an A-B test like this is that YouTube will actually choose the best title for for you once you have significant results. Here's how you do this. Now using this A-B test feature is actually incredibly simple. You're just gonna come over here into details. You're gonna come up to your title right here where we were before. You're gonna click on A-B test right here and then you're gonna see title only. I would strongly suggest you do not do an A-B test for your thumbnail or for title and thumbnail. You should be doing this with title only because doing it with thumbnail could actually decrease your reach. So please only do it with title and I would recommend doing it with either two or you could do it with three. I personally only like to do it with two because if you do it with three, a lot of times, if you don't get a lot of reach on your page already, it just doesn't get enough reach for the test to actually be effective. So please make sure you are only testing titles with two of them if 
you don't get that many views on your page. And then that last thing you need to make sure that you're doing is driving traffic from outside of YouTube onto YouTube in a very specific way. In fact, I'm gonna show you a perfect way to do this. Here's how you do it. Now, this creator right here is an absolutely perfect example of how you should go through and you should do this right here. We could see she gets a lot of views, 100,000 views, 100,000 views, 100,000 views, 55,000, 30,000, 39,000, 46,000. One of the ways that she's actually doing this is if we come over to her Instagram page and let's say we click on this video right here, we could see that she's promoting her YouTube channel right here. My YouTube channel is your number one source. In addition to that, if we come over to a post like this, we could see that she says something very similar, but instead she suggests that you go to YouTube and search for baddie in business. Now, guess what happens when you come over here and we come over to YouTube and we actually do a search for this, we're going to see her channel and we're going to see all of her content right here, which is exactly what she wants to happen and what I would strongly suggest you begin to do with your page because what that is going to do is get more people to come to YouTube and take an action inside of YouTube that gets them to see your best form of content and this will help you grow way faster in 2026. Now at this point, there's only two reasons that you're not seeing the growth that you want to right now on YouTube. Either one, you haven't implemented everything that I just shared with you in this video, or two, you're just still stuck and don't know what to do. And if that's you, I personally wanna help you. In fact, I wanna work with you one-on-one -on -one to help you grow faster on YouTube, get monetized faster on YouTube, and make sure that you get the views that you actually deserve. If that sounds interesting, I would strongly suggest you check out this video right here that walks you through three different ways we can work together one-on-one -on -one and I can help you grow faster. If that sounds interesting, I'll see you over there.